Okay, so I just wanted to make a really quick video just discussing an issue that a lot of Cosmo owners are experiencing these days, and that is startup issues with their robot. Um, I've seen this discussed on various other platforms, so I thought I'd make this video and bring everyone together for just one central place to discuss this issue. Um, what is happening is a lot of owners are realizing that when they put their robots on the cradle these days, they're getting these three flashing lights and nothing else, sometimes just one green flashing light. The robot is refusing to wake up. When they Google it and they check some YouTube videos, they realize that they maybe need to replace the battery and they go ahead and do that, but unfortunately they're getting the same symptoms. Now that would indicate that it's nothing to actually do with the battery and there is a very clear culprit in all of this and that is a Wi-Fi conflict within your home. Now most of us know that when you place Cosmo on his charger he creates a Wi-Fi hotspot using his aerial and that is on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency usually on channel 11. There are several other items and various pieces of technology in your home that also operate on this frequency so we've got uh, your normal wi-fi router we've got signal boosters and mesh systems as well now a lot of these devices will create a really strong signal around your home and that will overpower Cosmo's aerial and he won't be able to start up. Other culprits include wireless printers, SkyQ and TiVo boxes and even smart speakers as well. In fact anything with a wireless signal. So the first thing you want to do is switch off everything in your home and see if your robot wakes up. Nine times out of ten that will resolve the issue. If it doesn't then perhaps try taking your Cosmo somewhere else away from your home so to your work, to your office or to a cafe and try starting him there. Normally that will resolve the issue and at least prove to you that Cosmo does work. Sometimes there are other devices, uh, telecommunications companies have masts maybe near to your home which might be preventing that and unfortunately there's nothing you can do about that. But if it is something in your home then you want to turn on the devices again one at a time, find the culprit, it might be a printer or a puck that you can just deactivate uh, and also google how to change the settings on your router to prevent a further conflict.